Hello and welcome back to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. So we've had a lot of guests, but we're not done for the day. We have another special somebody in the house, Kezi, who is an Afrofusion singer, youngin in the building, doing his own thing, still indie, but we have who has a lot of potential. Please welcome with me, Kezi. Drum rolls, drum rolls. Hello, man. hello, hello. Yeah. How's it going? Good, 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 good. Please. Good. What, introduce yourself. Tell us your sound. What inspires you? What's that? You know that jiggy thing about you. Um, my name is Kizzy. That's my real name as well. So okay. those are as easy as my stage name. Um, I'm an Afro fusion artist. But the thing is, what inspires me basically is real life. I like to make music that depicts what my you know life represents. So I think that's basically what does the whole inspiration. I, I want to spread positive messages, you understand, that have mm. to do with what I go through and what people around in my immediate environment go through as well. So. All right, I respect All right. that. I like, I like the fact that you spoke about real life being your inspiration because yeah. your new song, Isabella, which is a banger, by the way, has <laughs> been on rotation on most uh, media platforms. Yeah, that's a big one. Um, I noticed that in that video, you try to depict the culture of compartmentalization in relationship where the girl in the video didn't want you to see a part of her life, but you saw mm -hmm, it and you were mm -hmm. still cool with it. So yes. is that a true life experience? Is that something that happened to you in a relationship or is that something that you can just relate to? I think it's smart that you caught that. <laughs> <laughs> Not too many people caught that. Yeah. yeah. Um, it wasn't personal but like i said like when i mean real life it's not just about my life mm. it's about things that i observe in my immediate environment mm. like i said so it wasn't about me it was about like someone else so what do you think about secrets in a relationship do you think in a relationship you can open it all you know let you yeah, yeah, tell it all see person, everything or, or do you think there's some things that should be helped? i don't know i don't know me personally yes, yeah, personally you. Or your opinion? You My opinion is, I feel like it depends on the dynamic of the relationship. It depends mm -hmm. on both parties. Like, mm -hmm. if they are cool with like keeping some things to themselves, then that's fine. But if they want total honesty, then I don't have any but problem. But you, what would you stand to represent? I mean, it depends on the kind of partner I'm, I'm with, actually. But not normally, I would want to be totally honest with my partner. Mm -hmm. yeah. But then you know that you can't be totally honest with just anybody. Yeah. And so. it takes time, I think. Yeah, it takes yeah. time to build trust. Yeah. So. All right. Okay. I want to talk more about like before now right before this particular second what was your life like did you always know that you were going to do music is it something that you practice in choir or were you doing it in school or did it just come to you like really recently no i've always known actually okay. but i haven't always been able to do it why but i've always i mean resources and you know like family all of that school mm. so what did you study um petroleum engineering bsc oh, oil and gas masters oil. I'm not sure. Okay. Uh, okay. Music okay. money is like our money these days. Is it? <laughs> so, <laughs> yes. okay, so your family, you mentioned family as well. Is it something that they didn't really? I mean, it's yeah, not new yeah, yeah, to they see did, they Af did. African homes. My dad homes. actually didn't want it because I'm the only boy. Right. So like, you know Pressure. how it was like when we were growing up. Mm. Oh, that, so. Speaking of family, you've always said I'm um, from a conservative family. Explain mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. I'm an evil boy, mm. do you understand? From Anambra. Mm. So if anyone knows anything about evil people from Anambra, like it's just crazy. Like they are so traditional. No, it's, not, <laughs> <laughs> it's not even about money, like they are high on morality. Mm. So they, are, they don't really like encourage music. So what changed? Are you being rebellious right now? No, no, no. Or? I think they've come to terms with it. Like okay. it's been a long time, obviously. Like so like they've come to terms with the fact that, oh, this is what I want to do. Besides, mm. I'm not a kid anymore. So like, yeah. Okay, let's I'm talk about the industry a bit. You know, being an Indian stuff, obviously be, it would be awesome when you get your own team and you have a sure, record label that that supports you. But being an indie and working through the Nigerian music industry, what is the hardest thing for you? Um, the hardest. Um, okay, the hardest would be um, influence. Mm. Not having, you know, somebody influential with that structure and that yeah. influence, like, mm paving the way for you or making things is easier for you. Is there anyone you're eyeing right now? Because, you know, you can shoot your show too on live TV. I mean, <laughs> there's a lot of... There's a lot of people, do you understand? But I don't, I don't know them personally. Mm. So I can't just sit here and say, I'm eyeing this person. Mm. I think it, it takes trust it takes a lot it takes a lot of conversation like for you to actually say okay this is who because mm. you have to make sure that their goals are aligned with yours mm. to get right, let's take it away from your recent single isabella you know in 2019 you dropped a song with peruzzi isabella and mm. peruzzi is regarded mm. as one of the greatest songwriters right now yeah, yeah, we know yeah. what he's doing for dmw mm -hmm, and stuff mm -hmm. and 
to be honest, that's a jam too. I don't know. Like, this guy yeah. has songs for days. No yeah. bad songs, yeah. Thank you. So, um, International, tell us about that. I, I One would have thought that doing that song with Peruzzi, Peruzzi yeah. it would, you know, we pay a big break. Yeah, mm -hmm. a big break. What happened? It doesn't always work like that, actually. Like, yeah. that's what I've come to learn. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? Because, you know, just doing a song with a big artist doesn't necessarily mean, even if you do the song, you still need to. You still need the structure, you still need the influence to be able to push it. Right. And so like after the time that we did that song, I don't know, it's just I don't know if it was wrong timing. It just came at a time where I was really like down. Mm. And so like it was difficult for me to like push, get the song yeah. to where I needed it All to right. be. Do that brings me? it to my next question because mm. I know I kinda know the story, but maybe I stand to be corrected. Okay. Okay. I know um you were in the UK, Peruzzi happened to be in the UK at the same yeah, time and yeah. then you were going to shoot the video and you figured, yeah. okay, international. We're in an international space, so let's do this, right? Yeah, true, true. Am I right? Yeah, right. Okay, yeah. so um Gee, would you say that support from bigger artists is also necessary? Because I think if a Peruzzi had pushed that jam as well, probably, regardless of the down moment you had, it would have yeah. probably gone farther than what it is now. Yeah, it would. It would have. But I mean, like, I can't speak for... Mm. Do you understand? I can't speak for anyone. Mm. And, and the thing about life is... Everyone, you don't know what everyone is, you know, going through. Because, yeah. like, if I, if I didn't say that I was down at that time, no, no one would know yeah. I was yeah. down at that time. Do you get me? So I don't really expect too much from people. I feel like it was graceful enough to, you know, do the song Being in the first place. So, like, you know, whatever, man. But moving really, forward, because, you know, that's all in the past. Moving yeah. forward, is there any new thing that you're cooking? What can we expect? Yeah, Someone definitely. Someone watching yeah. now wants to support your music. Where can they go to? Tell, just tell us a bit. Of um, on expect. Instagram, official underscore Kizzy. YouTube, um, Kizzy Baby. Um, Twitter, official KZ, you know, you can, I have a lot of songs on YouTube actually, like mm. a lot of videos, it's about like five videos or mm. six, mm. yeah, so like if you, more of my content is on YouTube, right. you can see me on Instagram, like do you I'm always do a on Instagram. Really a quick, quick freestyle, freestyle yeah. Let you go and yeah, to be honest, you have a rapper vibe, man, but you're a singer, so I let them just, before they think you're a rapper, you I rap sometimes. Yeah, yeah, Alright, yeah, yeah. so we would like you to rap for us if you can do that real quick. You want to rap? Yeah, something different. Okay, okay. Oh, you know. Okay, um, God doesn't make sense. No, it doesn't. Because if it did, our politicians would be all in the coffin. You agree? That's, that's how the country screaming, do or die. The other half can't decide between living broke or suicide. My pastor said you're supposed to love yourself, mm. but you can't even get married to a woman without your lawyer's help. Mm. And after two kids, she files for divorce. Holy matrimony. Fuck it, somebody. No, wow. Supposed to see no, no, keep going, keep going, keep going. But that's amazing, that's amazing. We can tell you're very politically inclined. Thank yeah. you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank, thank you. Thank you very much, man. Thank you very much for having me.